Like the image of the phoenix, dying in fire and rising from the ashes, so is our vision for the former Bethel School and every Bethel property in disrepair. Beauty for ashes. This logo, this image of strength, rebirth, and renewal is a symbol of resurrection and our commitment to rise. Introducing Rise, our vision building campaign, restoring individuals through service and engagement. Our story, Bethel AME Church is always on the rise, leading the way. A church birthed from a liberating spirit, rooted in vision and values, will always, always rise. Bethel AME Church has always risen to the challenge. In November of 1910, when Baltimore City Council passed an ordinance to widen Saratoga Street, Bethel was forced from its home and had to purchase the St. Peter's Protestant Episcopal Church at 1300 Druid Hill Avenue for $90,000. Bethel stepped out on faith and paid $20,000 in cash. In 1917, when Reverend W. Sampson Brooks was appointed pastor at Bethel, he inherited $55,000 in debt. By 1920, that debt was eliminated and Bethel was the largest black congregation in the state of Maryland. In 1948, Reverend Harrison J. Bryant and the Bryant family led the way fighting social injustices of the civil rights era. In the midst of the adversity, they needed a safe place to live. The church purchased the first parsonage for our church in the prominent Ashburton community of Baltimore. In 1976, under the leadership of his son, the Reverend John R. Bryant, Bethel grows to over 7,000 members. We purchased 1301 Druid Hill Avenue to establish an outreach center to clothe and feed the community and members in need. In 1977, Bethel adds a third floor to the church. This provided four additional rooms, a pastor study, library, conference room, modern kitchen, and dining room area all on the second floor. An elevator for the elderly and handicapped was also installed. In 1980, Bethel expansions continued. Bethel acquired 1234 Druid Hill Avenue and for a time opened a bookstore and a credit union. The following year, the church obtained an apartment at 1232 Druid Hill Avenue. In 1983, the Bethel Christian School is imagined. Bethel purchases three vacant houses on West Landvale Street and construction begins. The next year, the Alfonso A. McLaren Academy of Learning opens to 20 students. In 1990, the McCullough Outreach Center opens its doors. In October of 1990, under the leadership of the then Reverend Frank Madison Reed III, the $1.2 million William Smith Outreach Center was dedicated. The larger facility provided food and clothing to more than 18,000 people a year. In 1999, we expanded our ability to fulfill the Great Commission. Pastor Reed expands his vision for sharing the word through television and radio. The media ministry is strengthened with the purchase of state-of-the-art equipment. Bethel raises $98,000 to make that dream a reality. In 2016, it's determined that after 17 years of service, our media equipment was wearing out. Our new and current pastor, Patrick D. Claiborne, introduces the Refresh campaign to upgrade all audio and video gear. Bethel members diligently sold and raised the $150,000 needed. From 2018 to 2019, roof repairs were completed for some of our properties. Pastor Claiborne reveals the Extreme Makeover campaign for Phase 1 of the restoration for the building formerly known as the Bethel Christian School. That took place in November of 2016. By March of 2017, asbestos abatement and mold remediation had been completed, as well as work on the church roof to the tune of $150,000. The roofs on the church and that on 1303 were in desperate need of repairs. Bethel rose to the occasion again, raising the $250,000 needed. In 2018, Bethel expands our ability to do outreach. February of 2018, Pastor Claiborne introduces the Beyond Bus Campaign, all to help our unlimited mobility members and those who needed rides. By April, Bethel had raised the $75,000 for a brand new 15-passenger bus. In 2019, Kingdom Cafe got a facelift. After 30 plus years of providing meals to congregants before and after services, feeding neighbors and those who needed a little extra help, the kitchen at Bethel AME got a much needed makeover of commercial upgrades. The cost, 
$60,000. And now it's time for Bethel AME Church to rise again. It's our declaration that every lame and broken thing in our care will rise up and fulfill its purpose. Our foundational scripture is Acts 3, 6 through 8. Then Peter said, silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. So he leapt up, stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking, leaping and praising God. That is the inspiration for this vision building campaign, RISE. It stands for restoring, to return our properties, our ideals, our growth model, including processes and people, back to their original condition or better. Restoring individuals, our members, residents of the community, everywhere we're centered, our neighborhoods, the city of Baltimore, and wherever God leads in the world through service by helping, assisting, equipping, and mobilizing believers to reach unchurched people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. This transformative impact of identifying and meeting needs will become an immovable pillar in Bethel's core values. And we do it all through engagement. Rise is about reinstating a growth model that is centered on active engagement. This will ensure that Bethel remains relevant, impactful, effective, and able to expand while not forsaking our core values. Engagement is also about church growth. Future church attendance will not drive engagement. Engagement will drive growth so that we can rise to fulfill our mission to provide healing, help, and hope. And while we're growing for the glory of God, we have to face our challenges because we're outgrowing our current facility. And now a look at some of our challenges. We have inadequate meeting space, which restricts our ability to minister to people effectively, and it stunts our individual ministry growth. Our adult sanctuary reaches capacity, and that threatens to stunt our future growth as well. An overcrowded foyer and narthex at service time appears unwelcoming. Crowded children's ministry check-ins and rooms frustrate parents and teachers. We don't have adequate meeting spaces for wheelchair-bound members. Overcrowding in the Kingdom Cafe between services causes a lag in the arrival departure cycle, which can also cause visitors seeking parking to leave. And we don't have enough social space to facilitate fellowship and sufficient transitions between services. The question is, where do we go or grow from here? Let's imagine. Imagine restoring individuals through service and engagement with worship arts academies, media technology and dance classes and courses for young people, GED programs and tutoring for adults and children, life groups and ministry meetings, expanding out our Kingdom Cafe, having town hall and community meetings held right here at 505 West Landvale. We could do that and so much more. Now visualize a little deeper what Rooms for Children's Church might look like. or multi-purpose event space. A kingdom cafe that's truly a cafe and meeting space. To do this, though, we have to embrace the charge. We believe it's a leap of faith and it begins with a commitment, a commitment to seeing yourself as part of this kingdom building campaign, prayer, that you pray about your level of consistent participation, and then the sacrifice, that you'll begin seeking God's direction and obey His leading about how you're called to sacrifice for this cause. Persistence that will surely be needed as you grow weary, but knowing that only your faith will help this initiative become a reality. Encourage that you'll encourage others to take this journey with us as we work to have a real impact in our community and our city. And then finally reaching completion. Think of the lives that will be touched and saved as a result of our financial leap of faith. Thank you so much for your commitment to be a part of this historic vision building campaign, Bethel on the Rise Again. <laughs>